Hi, I'm here today with TV Shield to go over the 17 step easy installation process. First thing I want to do is go over what's going to come inside the TV Shield when you get it. Uh, first of all, once you unpackage it, you're going to have your instructions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place those off to the side. You will see on there, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and unscrew the six black threaded caps that are on the TV Shield. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You want to go ahead and put those off to the side once you take them off. Go ahead and put them off to the side. Go ahead and open up the unit. Inside the unit you're going to find a couple things. First you're going to have styrofoam blocks um, with some black prop arms in it. You want to go ahead and take those apart, put the blocks off to the side. You're definitely going to need those for installation um, at that point. You have two prop arms, put those off to the side also. You're also going to have a small black bag, it's a drawstring bag. You want to go ahead and open that up. You're going to find some stuff inside the bag um, that you're going to need for the, the rest of the installation. <clears throat> go ahead and dump everything out. <clears throat> you're going to have a couple keys for, uh, for your locks off to the side. You're also going to have a large black threaded cap with a screw. Um, go ahead and place that off to the side. And then you're going to have grommets. You're going to have basically eight grommets. You're going to have four large grommets, four smaller grommets. You're going to need to need those for a step, so go ahead and place those off to the side. <clears throat> I'm also going to go over some of the tools needed for installation. Um, first you're going to need a drill. Always need a drill. You're also going to need a uh, ruler, uh, preferably with millimeter measurements on the ruler. Also a tape measure. <clears throat> you're going to need Two drill bits, um, you're going to need either a 5 16 inch drill bit or a 7 16 inch drill bit depending on what grommet you're putting um, in the TV shield, um, depending on what size screw you're going to be using uh, that comes with your mounting hardware. You're also going to need a screwdriver, uh, most likely Phillips head, you might need a flat head, so I'd have both. You're also going to need <coughs> all the mounting hardware that comes with your separately sold mount. So you got your mount, you're going to want to pull out all the hardware um, because you're going to need all those screws and spacers and things like that. So that is what you're going to need and that's what comes with the TV shield. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go over with you steps 1 through 17. What I'm going to do is on this first segment, I'm going to go over step 1 and 2 with you. First, what you want to do is go ahead and get your television. What you're going to need is your measuring tape. You're going to go ahead and measure your television's total height. So the easiest way to do that is go ahead and take the front of the television and go ahead and measure from the bottom up. This television is roughly 17 and a half inches total height. So what we need to do is find the center horizontal line of the back of your television. Okay, and that would be the center horizontal line here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take tape measure again. I'm going to go to 8 and 3 quarters inches, which is half of 17 and a half, and find my center horizontal line. So I'm going to be at 8 and 3 quarters inches. Okay? Now that's step one. Step two is going to be measuring from the center horizontal line to your top left mounting hole, okay? Which will be the screw ends on the back of your television. So I'm going to go ahead and take that measurement from the center horizontal line to the top left mounting hole, which is five inches. That's step one and two. Okay, in this segment, I'm gonna go over steps three and four with you, which step three is locate the center horizontal line of the TV shield. So, same thing that you did on your television, finding the center horizontal line, you're going to go ahead and need to find the center horizontal line on the TV shield, which it's nicely actually marked here. You'll see a gap in between the top row of divots and the bottom row of divots, and that is your center horizontal line of the TV shield. So, going this way. Now, that's step three. Step four is going to be measuring the same distance from the center horizontal line of the TV shield that you did from the center horizontal line of your TV. So in step two you measured up from the center horizontal line five inches on the back of your television. So you're going to do the same thing here. Now if you're using a 200 by 200 millimeter visa mount that is going to be your outer 
divot lines of the small TV shield, for instance. These inner divot lines are 100 by 100, and the most inner divot lines are 75 by 75. So we're gonna be going based off of a 200 by 200 mount system here. So again, you're gonna find the left divot line for 200 by 200, and simply measure up by five inches. So center divot line, or I'm sorry, center horizontal line, up five inches is gonna be on, and you can go ahead and count to the divots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the ninth divot down. That's step three and four. Okay, before we go ahead and move on to step five, which is gonna be starting to drill all your holes, I wanna go over some very important pointers with you. Um, when you're drilling these holes, they have to be exact. If they're not exact, and you measure exactly right, which means measure twice, drill once, which is the old saying, then nothing's gonna fit correctly and the back of this could potentially be ruined at that point. Um, so, again, if you are you know, making your first hole, you've measured twice, and you're gonna drill once, go ahead and make that first hole, and make sure that you are measuring to exact points and you're doing it once or twice or even three times of measurement before you drill that second hole because you most likely won't have a second shot. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're drilling by the millimeters. Um, if you have something to you know, measure millimeters, if not and you're measuring based off the of inches and converting it, make sure you're as close as you can possibly get. Okay, step five, what we're going to do is go ahead and drill your first hole in the back of the TV shield. What you're going to do is you're either going to drill your hole with a 5 16 inch bit if using 4 millimeter screws or the 7 16 inch bit if using the 6 millimeter screws. Television we're using here, for instance, does take 6 millimeter screws. So, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need your hardware to find out what screw you're going to be using. Simplest way is probably take the screws out and go ahead and screw them into the back of your television if you don't know, or your TV should go ahead and tell you in your manual what size screws should be used in the back of the television. Um, now, what you're gonna go ahead and do is, you're gonna go ahead, since we're using the six millimeter screw, I'm gonna use the 7 16 inch drill bit. Now, this hole is gonna be quite a bit bigger than the screw, don't be alarmed, that's to account for the grommet being installed. So, go ahead and drill bit in our drill. You're going to find, again, we were in the prior step, we're on the ninth divot down from the top. Pretty simple, you should have marked it. Um, or you can go ahead and count down nine again. Uh, I have mine marked, for instance, so I'm going to go ahead and drill out my first hole here. That's your first hole, that's step five. Okay, step six. What we're gonna do is measure down from that hole that you drilled in step five, the millimeters associated with your TV's visa mount system. So, for instance, this television is a 200 by 200 visa mount pattern. What I'm gonna do is measure down from this hole 200 millimeters and go ahead and drill my second hole. Okay, what you want to do is make sure that you are measuring from the center of that hole that you drilled down. Not the top of the hole, not the bottom of the hole, but make sure you're in the center. Okay, you're going to go ahead and measure down 200 millimeters, which is 20 centimeters if you have something that you're measuring in centimeters. Um, but I'm going to go ahead down 200 millimeters, go ahead and make your mark, and drill out your hole. So. That is step six. Okay, step seven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes on the other side 
of the TV shield. So again, we're going 200 by 200 millimeters, which is going to be our outer line here. We already drilled our two holes in, and our farthest line to the right, which is the 200 by 200 millimeters. Easiest way to do this is if you drilled on this top row of divots, the ninth divot down, you can just go ahead and count down nine divots on this right side. So I'm going to go ahead and count down the nine divots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole. Now what you're going to do is repeat step six, okay? So you're going to go ahead and take your measuring uh, stick again and go down from that hole 200 millimeters again. Again, make sure you're going from the center of the hole on the top and not the top or the bottom of that drilled out hole. And we're going to measure down 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters and drill our last hole. That's step seven. Okay, step eight is pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and install the four grommets at this point. Uh, again, in this instance, I'm using the six millimeter screw, so I'm going to use the larger grommet of the two that are in the bag. You should have four of them in a small bag, and pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and install them. The grommets are there to prevent any water intrusion that could get through the back of the television. So, this is a point where you may need a little screwdriver to help you kind of get those in. We want to make sure they're as tight as possible. So, take that screwdriver and just kind of help you along there and pop that grommet right in. Make sure she's in there nice and tight and that's how you install your grommets. What we're going to do is we're going to take those foam blocks and place these down on the ground Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to place the television face down on the styrofoam blocks. Okay, make sure when you're doing this you're spacing these blocks out so they are touching the edge of the television and definitely not touching the screen of the television. So just want to go ahead and you know eyeball them out, make sure they're going to go ahead and set on the sides or on the you know outer edges of the television. Go ahead and place that television down on top of them, move them in a little bit, and that is step nine. Okay, in this segment I'm going to go ahead and go over steps 10 and 11. Step 10, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and install any power cords if they need installed on the back of the TV, any coax cable, HDMI, whatever cables you're going to need to use in the installation of this um, because you don't want to try to do that after you've installed the TV shield um, to the television. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just install our coax cable because that's the only thing we're going to use in this particular situation. And then just go ahead and leave that hanging here. Power cord's already in. Now we're going to go to step 11. Step 11 is going to be to place the television and TV shield over the television. Okay? So we're going to want to place it directly over the television and the blocks. Just like that. And that's step 11. Okay, in this segment, I'm going to go over steps 12 and 13 with you. First, what you're going to make, want to grab is your Phillips head screwdriver um, or flathead screwdriver, depending on what type of screw came with your mounting hardware. You're going to want to grab your mounting hardware, so all your screws and spacers and so forth. And you're going to want to grab your bracket that came with your separately sold mount. Okay? First, step 12, what we're going to do is we're going to find your top left mounting hole of the television by simply looking through 
the grommet and the TV shield and slightly moving the TV shield till you find it, which it's right there, okay? Step 13, what we're gonna go ahead and do is place your mount bracket directly over. Make sure you're using the correct mounting holes on the bracket, okay? Place it over that, top left, and make sure you grab, again, the correct screws that you, you know, predetermined were correct for your television, which in this case were the six millimeter screws that came in my mounting hardware. And we're gonna go ahead and install that directly through the mount, the TV shield, and into the back of the television, which at the end of this, you're gonna have the TV shield sandwiched in between the back of your television and your mount that you had purchased separately. So you're just gonna to wanna to wiggle that down on in there because that grommet is gonna be nice and tight and we're just gonna find our hole on the TV and screw it in. You're gonna go ahead and repeat that for all four holes on the back of the television and that's step 12 and 13. Okay, I'm gonna go over step 14 with you. Basically gonna be real fast. All you have to do is go ahead and pull all your cords through. So any HDMI, coax cables, whatever you had attached to the television in the previous step, just gonna run them up through the grommet. Just go ahead and pull all the slack through until there's no more slack. That's step 14. Okay, I'm gonna go over step 15 with you. Um, basically what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna flip the unit back over. You wanna do that carefully with the TV inside of it and everything. Go ahead and uh, open up the front panel. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and install the two prop arms, pretty simple. Um, you just have a prop arm housing here. Everything's threaded. You just simply go ahead and thread the prop arm right in there. Go ahead and do that on both sides. And you'll see on there, there's little magnets. So when you're done, you can stick it right up on the magnet, hold your prop arms in place. You're also going to uh, install the threaded handle. So pretty simple. You'll already have a pre-drilled hole in the front of the uh, panel. You want to go ahead and stick that screw through. Simply take your handle, start threading it on. Go ahead and take your Phillips head screwdriver. You want to tighten that down nice and tight. That's step 15. All right, I'm going to go over uh, step 16 and 17 with you. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and shut the front panel. Um, in the beginning, you may need to kind of help this along, may need to pull in the sides just a little bit, um, help it down, basically, and then you're going to want to go ahead and uh, install all of your caps. Screw them on. Go ahead and probably lock it down with your keys. That's step 16. Uh, basically step 17 is just go ahead and mount the entire enclosure with the television inside of it uh, per your separately sold mounting instructions and uh, you're all set to enjoy it. All right, that concludes our step-by-step -step installation process. We want to thank you for purchasing the TV Shield, the ultimate indoor and outdoor TV protection.